If you guys like the art in this video, make sure you go check out Scummy D's on Instagram and on Twitter. They make great art. Thank you so much for making this art. They actually made it super fast, and the commission is open right now. So make sure you go check them out. If you want some nice artwork done, go to their Twitter and Instagram and hit them up. The commissions is available, it's cheap, and they're quick. What, what more can you ask for? Welcome back to the Naruto Fighter series. This is the fifth episode in the series and I've been having a blast. Thanks to all of you that have supported. I cannot thank you enough. Uh, make sure you like this video so we can get it out to a uh, much wider audience. This is the very first fan request episode and we're going to go over characters that you guys want to see. And without further ado, let's begin. Now real quick, before we get to the characters, I do have a few updates. This update is brought to you by our guy Derp Squad. Uh, shout out to you for all the love that you've shown. I meant to get to this one last episode, he had an awesome idea for an update. He commented, for Minato, I would love to see him have a special where he throws the kunai a bit slower than your average kunai. While being thrown, he could press a special button to teleport to it and start attacking. If you don't press it, the enemy somehow doesn't block it, then it will do more damage than a regular kunai throw. I actually love this idea and I'm going to actually make that his gimmick in the game. Instead of a regular kunai, he will do this instead. The next update is for Guy Sensei. When he uses 30% ultimate when he goes into the 8 gates, he will die even if the ultimate does not connect. Dirt Scott also mentioned some alternate costumes for Naruto. He said, in terms of alternate costumes, one I would crave is Naruto wearing his old school gear. So, why not have it? So now to the characters. We are doing pre time skip Naruto characters in this video. 10 characters from Naruto Part 1 that I will have in this game. Our first character is going to go to young Naruto, of course. For his intro, he will grab his headband off the ground and tie it to his forehead, saying, Let's do this. For his outro, it would be him flipping and clutching his headband like he did in the early openings. For his kunais, he would do the Demon Wind Shuriken. For his first level one, he will be doing the Rasengan. This is a full screen attack. His second level one will be Demon Wind Blade. He will throw a Demon Wind Shuriken at you. If it connects, it will go past you, hitting you three times. Once it's behind you, the Shuriken will transform into Naruto and he will throw a Kunai at your back. For his level three, it will be Naruto 2K Barrage. To activate it, he will use a Shadow Clone Jutsu and one of his clones will pop up from the ground. If it connects, the level three will activate. When his health is at 30%, he will return into the one tail Chakra Mode and do Vermilion Rasengan. This will be a full screen attack. For his gates mode, he will turn into the nine tail mode. Not the full tail mode, just the regular one he did when he was fighting Haku. The next character we have is Yun Sasuke. For his intro, he will be tying his headband on his forehead, revealing the Sharingan. For his outro, he will be in the battle stance. His first level one will be Fireball Jutsu. This will be a full screen attack. His second level one is actually brought to us by Derp Squad. He mentions it could be a black silhouette of him breaking the characters with a blood red background to make it very creative and PG appropriate like the show. This was an excellent idea so of course I'm gonna take it and run with it. The second level one will open like how Android 17's will open. It will zoom into him with the curse marks beginning to cover his body. Then he will flash behind the opponent hitting him. If the hit connects the screen will go red and you will see a silhouette of Sasuke grabbing the opponent's arms and his foot behind their back. When he pulls an arm, flashes of red will come on the screen covering the silhouette. This level 1 will end with the screen going into his original palette and the opponent on the ground. His level 3 will be Chidori. This will be a full screen attack. And when his health is at 30%, he will go to Curse Mark level 2 and use Chidori. For his Gates mode, he will have the full body Curse Mark. Not to level 2, just the full Curse Mark. The next character is Choji. I personally love Choji in part 1, so it was a no brainer putting him into this. For his intro, he will be eating a bag of chips, and the last one will fall into the ground, and he will get pissed. In his outro, he will run out the frame and end up at a barbecue restaurant with Asuma, Ino, and Shigamaru. His level 1 will be Human Boulder. This is a full screen attack. His second level 1 will be Spiky Human Boulder. This will be a half screen attack. For his level 3, he will enlarge his arm and punch you. If the punch connects, he will jump in the air, enlarges his whole body, and body slams you. When his health is at 30%, he will go butterfly mode. He'll flash up to you and store all the chakra that he has into his fist and punches you to the ground. And his gates mode will be butterfly mode. Next up, we have the fan favorite, Rock Lee. For his intro, he will drop his weights and flip onto the battlefield. For his outro, he will have him crying saying, I did it, guy sensei. 
For his first level 1, he will use Primary Lotus. In order to activate it, he must connect the kick from under you. This is blockable, but it can be reached at any point in the map, as long as it's on the ground. His second level 1 will be Leaf Whirlwind. This is a half screen attack. His level 3 will be Hidden Lotus. And the gates will be his gates, of course. Next up, we have my favorite character from Naruto Part 1, Neji. His intro is him activating his Byakugan. His outro will be him turning around saying it's futile. His first level 1 will be Rotation. His second level 1 will be Last Resort 8 Gates Assault. With this attack, he will flash up to you, hit you with a Palm Thrust. If this connects, you will get in some knockback. As you're being knocked back, he will flash behind you and thrust you in the air. While you're in midair, he will flash to you and give you a devastating blow leaving you spinning out of control. His level 3 will be 64 palms. And his 30% will be 128 palms. And lastly, his gates mode will be a Beoptagon power up. Next up, we have Gara. His intro will be him forming himself in the sand like he did in the beginning of the fight with Rock Lee. His outro will be him rising from the sand, smiling menacingly. For his kunais, he will throw sand, and for blocking, he will just have the sand shield. His first level 1 will be Sand Showers. His second level 1 will be a Sand Shield that he used while fighting Sasuke. While getting near his spikes will come out and attack. While he is in this shield, he will restore his teammates health. This level 1 will last about 7 seconds. However, it is possible to knock him out of it. For his level 3, it will be Sand Spear. He will use sand from under you to put the opponent in the coffin. Once in the coffin, he will launch a Sand Spear to attack. When his health is at 30%, he will use Tail Beast Bomb. And his Gates mode is where he becomes half a Shikaku. Next up is a fan favorite from part 1, Kimi Maru. In his intro, he will be flipping onto the battlefield. For his outro, I will have him activating the Curse Mark. For his Kunai's, it will be the Bone Pellets. And his guard will be just his bones coming out of his wrist. His first level 1 will be Dance of Genji, where he spins intensely, and when he's above you, he will rain bones from his back. His second level 1 will be the Bone Vine, where he pulls out his spinal cord and hits you with it. If connected, he will use Bracket Dance. His level 3 will be his Curse Mark 2 Bone Drill, and his gates will be Curse Mark level 2. Next up, we have Kitamaru. He's the only one from the Sound 4 that I had planned for this episode. I couldn't think of anything for anyone else in the Sound 4. His opening will be him standing upside down and landing onto the battlefield. His outro will be him posting up with the Sound 4 and Sasuke. Kitomaru will be a stance character and a zoning character. In other words, he should be fighting at a distance. When you press the kunai button, Kitomaru will set his bow to attack. When you press 1, he will fire the arrow with a web to pull you close to him. When you press 2, he will shoot the arrow up in the air and 3 will come down. When you press 3, Kitomaru will jump in the air, shoot the arrow to the ground, and it will shoot up to where the opponent is. When you press 4, Kitomaru will just shoot it as you straight. His first level 1 will be him pulling a web and kunais will fly in your direction. His second level 1 will be summoning. He will summon a spider and it will drop from the top of the screen. His level 3 will be curse mark level 2 and he shoot his strongest arrow at you. His gates will be the full body curse mark. Now we have two more characters here. I was excited to put them in this game and we have young Kakashi and young Obito. Young Kakashi's intro will be him unsheathing his sword, ready to fight. His outro will be him folding his arms and saying something sassy. His first level 1 will be summoning. He will summon 3 dogs and then will launch at the opponent attacking him. His second level 1 will be him flipping to you giving you a 5 hit sword attack. And his level 3 will be Chidori. And for our last character we have young Obito. His intro will be him rushing into the battlefield, tripping upon arrival as if he was late. His outro would be him putting eye drops in his eye. His first level one would be Phoenix Flower Jutsu. He would jump in the air and shooting fireballs that will cover the whole map. His second level one would be a clone uppercut Jutsu. The clone would come from the ground just like how Naruto did to Neji. If connected, the original Obito would disappear. If not, you'll still be playing with the same Obito. For his level three, I had to get creative again. Obito would flash up to you, kicking you upward. While in the air, Obito will backflip away from the opponent three times and throwing two kunais with paper bombs. When they reach the opponent, he will quickly dash through them with his kunai, stabbing them. Then the paper bombs will explode. After the paper bombs explode, he will turn around and use giant fireball jutsu. With his gates mode, I will have him use a Sharingan power-up. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering why didn't I add Haku to this list. That's because I already had him playing for DLC Pack 2. 
So definitely get ready for that. The theme of the DLC pack two will be villains. So be sure to comment below who you would like to see in the Naruto's Fighters game if this was actually a game. And make sure you check out the other videos that I posted on this series. The playlist will be down below. And of course, like always, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell for notifications. Until then, Swagglers here for the Nerd Coalition is out.